What is up you guys, Matt here, Mr. Matt Darno, and here in this video I'm going to show you guys how we can mod Call of Duty Black Ops 2 on your JTAG to reset glitch hack Xbox 360 using GSC mod menus like we did when we modded Black Ops 1. Alrighty guys, now I'm going to show you guys how you can mod the Black Ops 2. Please note, you will need a JTAG, a reset glitch hack, or an RJ tag system. This will not work if you do not have a J tag, reset glitch hack, or RJ tag system. So now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to show you guys how you can mod Black Ops 2. Alrighty guys, so the first thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and you want to download your mod menu. Uh, you can use any GSC mod menu you want. Uh, there's the Elegance menu, I know that's a real popular one. Uh, All You Need is a popular one as well. Uh, Massacre, Revolution, I know there are even points where uh, people port PC mod menus uh, and they'll modify them into a GSC menu for the Xbox 360 as well. You can use one of those. However, Elegance is the one that I see that is mostly used and the most popular. So that's what I'm going to be showing you guys how to use is the Elegance as that is the most popular mod menu to be used. The next thing you will need is you'll need Black Ops 2 Title Update 18 along with the modified XCX file here and this modified DLL file here. There will be a link to download these in the description below along with this raw folder here. Like I said, there will be a link in the description below. You'll get a raw archive like this. You can extract it using 7-zip and you'll get the folder like so here. <clears throat> Alrighty guys, so once we extract this uh, raw archive right here and we have the folder here we're just going to go into the folder here. We're going to pull up Black Ops 2 Title Update 18 here. We're going to open the folder up here. And as you can see right here, we have all these files and folders here. Also note, if Title Update 19 comes out, which is not likely, however it is possible, go ahead and download Title Update 19, and you would extract that using Horizon, and you get a folder like this here. However, this is Title Update 18, and I'm going to show you guys how you can use Title Update 18. But if Title Update 19 comes out, then I'll make an updated video, or you can use Horizon and extract it that way. So now that we have Title Update 18 here, we're just going to go ahead and we're going to load up a... In this case, I'm going to use FileZilla, and we're going to FTP into our JTAG, or Reset Glitch Hack, Xbox 360 here. I'm going to use FTP, you can use a USB flash drive, you can use Xbox 360 Neighborhood, it does not matter as long as you get these files in the correct location. So you want to have your Black Ops 2 disk extracted onto your hard drive somewhere, in this case mine is under Games here, and if we go to Call of Duty Black Ops 2 here, you'll notice that we have the Load folder here. We're going to go ahead and open up the Load, load folder. And we're going to open up the load folder and title update 18. And we're going to drag these two files in here. Like so. <clears throat> we're going to go up and we're going to go to the stream, stream folder here. And we're going to go to the stream folder and title update 18. And we're going to drag all of these into the stream folder here. If you get target file already exists, press overwrite. And always use this action and apply to current queue only. We'll click OK. And it's going to drag these files right here into the stream folder. Now that we have that done, we can go back up. We'll go back up in here. And we're just going to select all these files right here. And we're going to drag these into the root directory of our Black Ops 2 game. We'll click OK. And it's just going to copy these files over here and overwrite the previous files. Alrighty guys, now that we have those files transferred over, we have Title Update 18 installed manually on our Black Ops 2 game. So now that we have Title Update 18 installed, we're going to go back out to Black Ops 2 GSC Loader here. And we want to go to our FTP client or wherever you, whatever you're using to manage your files. And you want to find your default multiplayer.xcx file. 
In this case right here, you'll see default mp.xcx. We're going to go ahead and we're going to copy this and we're going to make a backup. I'm just going to drag this to my desktop here. And the reason I'm doing this is that if I have a, so I have a backup here so I do not need to use my game disk. So if I ever want to remove the mod menu, I can simply swap the XEX fi file back out. Now that we have a backup created of our default multi multiplayer.xex, we're going to come in here, we're going to find the DLL file, as you can see I do not have that DLL file, you may have that DLL file, if you do I recommend you make a backup as well that way so you can just drag these back in and it will disable the mod menus. So now that we have that done, we're just going to drag these two files into the root of our Black Ops 2 game. And once we have that done, we're going to go to the raw folder here. In the raw folder, you'll see maps, you'll see multiplayer or MP, you'll see game types. And right here, we're going to place our GSE mod menu here. In this case, I'm using Elegance. You can use Massacre here. As you can see, you can use Revolution if you want. But you'll need to make sure that your GSC file is with that name, underscore client IDS. And we're just going to drag that file right in here. And we're going to go back out to the raw folder here. And we're just going to drag this raw folder into the root of our Black Ops 2 game. Alrighty guys, and right there we go, we have the folder dragged in here. If we refresh this here, you'll see the raw folder right here. And we have the mod menus installed on our Black Ops 2 game. Now the only thing left to do is we can go ahead and load up on our JTAG to reset glitch hack Xbox 360. Load up Black Ops 2. You can go into the multiplayer, you want to load that default mp.xex, and we can go ahead and play a game and load up our mod menus. I will see you guys on the Xbox 360. Alrighty guys, now that we are on our JTAG, or Xbox 360 here, or our reset glitch hack Xbox 360, and we have all those files done, we're just going to go up to our file manager, and we'll go ahead and open our file manager here. We'll go to hard drive, we'll find that game folder, we'll load up our Black Ops 2 folder here, and we're going to go ahead and load up the default multiplayer XEX file here. Right here, default underscore mp .xex. we'll go ahead and load up this XEX file, we'll go ahead and press A. This is going to load up our Black Ops 2 multiplayer here. I'll go to local since I'm not on Xbox Live and I'll go ahead and press start match. And we can go ahead and choose a class, doesn't really matter what class we choose. And we'll press LT in our art or we'll press LT the left trigger and we'll go ahead and press the right uh, not the d-pad the uh, mine just went blank it's different for every mod menu however for the elegance menu you press LT and then you'd press down on the right stick RS that's the word I was looking for however keep in mind every mod menu is different so what works to open this mod menu may not open to work yours so you can see right here we'll go to main mods you can have God mode. And we can spawn a stairway.
you can do this human centipede and all that good stuff. Hope this helped you on how to install Black Ops 2 mod menus. Hope this helped you out. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hope you come back for future Xbox 360 modding videos. I used to have my Black Ops 3 modding videos up, however, Activision took those down. I'll go into detail on that in another video. However, if you enjoyed the video, like, comment, and subscribe. Come back for more modding videos. Until next time, guys, I'll see you later.